Hi, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Aveeno Dermixa line, more specifically the emollient cream and the balm. And oh, I'm holding it uh, backwards. <laughs> that is so embarrassing. So yeah, these two. And these are actually really, I'll just uh, come off the bat and say I really like these products. Um, and I want to go over some of the ingredient lists, uh, some of the ingredients um, in these products and why it makes these products so good. Um, so yeah, if you want to keep watching, then continue. So first of all, one of the main beneficial ingredients in this cream and I believe it is in this balm as well, is Ceramide NP. Um, they say that it has ceramides in it, but realistically it only has the one ceramide, so just FYI. Um, it doesn't mean that it's bad or anything, it just, you know, don't. <laughs> just uh, some other creams out there have more than, like, multiple ones, this literally just has the one. Um, ceramides are fats or lipids. Um, they are found in the topmost layers of our skin and they sort of help to like reinforce the skin barrier to kind of keep the um, moisture in, help with hydration. And how they work is like if you think about like bricks like being stacked, you know, um, they sort of help with that in um, forming like a nice solid. Uh, wall if you will if you think about it that way and if your skin barrier is broken or compromised that means there's like holes or gaps in there but um, with ceramides this can kind of help strengthen that so people who have like a typically like a compromised skin barrier for various reasons I won't go into them but for whatever reason you do this, um, uh, using your cream with a ceramide or ceramides is going to really be beneficial to you. This is this line of Aveeno is marketed towards people with eczema, but I just want to come off the bat and say, just because you don't have eczema doesn't mean you can't use these products. This is going to be beneficial for people, especially with dry skin, which is personally why I bought it. I don't have eczema, never had that problem, but I do have extremely dry skin um, and I find a lot of moisturizers aren't really enough for me. Um, doesn't mean that they're bad, it just means like for my really dry skin, I don't find them very helpful. And I would find, uh, I would prefer to use one that has a stack full of beneficial ingredients and I found this one to be a really good one. If you are using any sort of retinoid um, and you have like that uh, peeling um, that of you know the dead skin that's like you're going through that peeling process that you do this is gonna be really helpful cream so I found this to be really really helpful I'm currently using a retinoid myself I'm using the adapline and oh my gosh <laughs> all that peeling and things that is just not really fun and I already have dry skin, so that just makes it so much worse. So this is really good. And because it has the ceramide in it, that will sort of help maintain the moisture within your skin um, through the overnight process. Because usually when you're sleeping at night, that is when you tend to lose the most amount of moisture. And I won't go into the details of it. You can do your own research there, but that's the thing that happens. So um, yeah, and uh, one more thing I'd like to say about ceramides is that they kind of give your skin a plump, kind of firm, um, smoother uh, look and feel because again, they help, um, they help compromise a skin barrier, you know, build back up, they sort of cement all the bricks together, sort of, if you will. Um, or whatever analogy that you can think of. <laughs> That's the one I thought of. Um, yeah, so it just kind of keeps it all intact. Um, obviously, if you think about it, if you have a compromised skin barrier, there's holes in your skin barrier, lots of moisture is going to be lost. It, you know, like your skin's not going to be nice, it's going to be dehydrated, it could be dry, you could have like blemishes, like lots of problems can happen because of that. 
Another beneficial ingredient that I found pretty high up on the uh, ingredient list on this uh, cream is panthenol. And panth panthenol <laughs> is um, called pro vitamin B5. That's another name for it. And what panthenol is really good for is it helps with uh, balancing and softening the skin, aiding in elasticity. Um, but yeah, mostly panthenol is good, like I said, for balancing like your skin. So this is pretty good for that. Um, like if your skin's pH is kind of out of whack, um, this cream again is pretty good. Um, there are toners out there that you can buy that are you know, good for this one thing, but if you can have that in a moisturizer, then you don't even need the toner, so that's also, this cream is pretty, mon uh, <laughs> this cream is pretty multifunctional that way, which I find really helpful. And it also has glycerin, which is like the second ingredient on this ingredient list, and glycerin is a humectant, which basically means that it's able to draw the moisture from the outside environment and kind of contain it kind of keep that moisture in and again this is why I said this cream would be an excellent night cream because at night is when you have the most amount of moisture that's lost from your skin and if you have an almost <laughs> drop this if you have an ingredient like glycerin in your uh, moisturizer then that means that it's going to kind of help keep that moisture retained it know. doesn't really specify by the way anything about using this at day or night and personally for me I think I prefer it at night but you can for sure use this during the day as well and I think the way it's made it's sort of supposed to be a body cream but again it doesn't actually specify this anywhere um, but it also doesn't say it's for face or body or whatever but there's no reason why you can't use a um, body moisturizer on your face and there's no reason why you can't use a face moisturizer on your body it probably will be expensive <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend it but hey you do you right um, I don't really like to use this on my body that much because I just I don't know but for the face I find this to be pretty great and the last ingredient that I want to talk about is the Avena Stevia Stevia, Stevia, um, that's in this and this, and this is kind of the uh, ingredient that Avena was known for because their whole thing is like oats, 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 and that Avena, Stevia is a, like it's a type of oat, I believe, um, or something like that. I don't know, you can look into it if you'd like. But anyway, um, that helps reduce inflammation, so um, it's a really good and calming sort of ingredient to have. And when you have dry and itchy skin, that's pretty helpful because <laughs> that sort of calms that down. Another one is menthol, um, which is also commonly, you can find it in a lot of itchy uh, moisturizers targeted towards itchy skin as well. But this is also an excellent one and um, it has like a soothing effect because it calms that inflammation down and if you have eczema that's going to be excellent if you have really dry itchy skin due to peeling because of use of retinoid or whatever reason even if you find your skin being sensitized because of the retinoid because you will experience that i have myself this is also going to be excellent for that and if you have like a blemish prone skin um you know, acne or whatever, you're also going to find this to be helpful. So I really think this is a multi-purpose cream that is no nonsense and pretty much suitable for every single skin type, including oily. Um, you guys might find it a little bit thicker for your skin, but it's not greasy. It doesn't clog pores, so don't worry about that. Um, and it is fragrance-free, which is perfect. So people with rosacea, eczema, you know, pretty much everyone will use what the consistency of it looks like. So that's just like, I like how it's in a tube, so that's pretty easy to... It's, it looks quite thick from this, um, but it's actually pretty lightweight and it kind of spreads more like a gel cream. Um, so it, that's why I said it's fine for people with like oily or combination skin um, because it's not, it's actually not that heavy in feel. 
and it's it's pretty nice. It spreads very nicely, and a little bit goes a long way. So you only really need like a pea size amount for your face, and a little bit more maybe for your neck area. And uh, yeah, the only thing I will say about this cream that I don't love um, is the smell. Um, it is fragrance free, but the smell it has is just. Mm, I don't know. I honestly can't explain it. It's a smell I've never smelled before. I don't like it. <laughs> but I tend to look past it given the amount of beneficial ingredients that are in this cream. Um, I'm assuming the smell comes from the oats in it, but I really, I don't know for a fact that if that's the case, I'm just guessing here. But um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it does dissipate pretty pretty quickly, so um, it's not like the biggest deal in the world. That's just the one thing I wanted <laughs> to point out, FYI. Um, and it's very hydrating as well. Um, I find this moisturizer, moisturizer to be extremely hydrating. So again, another bonus uh, for dry skin, for dehydrated skin, whatever. Um, I don't really feel the need to use that many other products when I have this cream. I honestly don't because if I'm using this at night with my retinoid, I, I wash my face, I cleanse my face, I put my retinoid on um, after I've applied this and that's pretty much all I use because it's got everything I need. Now moving on to the balm. And it has exactly the same ingredients that I talked about, um, just like a few other ones. I don't think it has panthenol in it, which is interesting. So it doesn't have a few of them, but it has the glycerin and the ceramide and the um, Avena oat extract. Um, so it's good that way. The only difference between this and that cream is this is like a balm uh, consistency, and I'll show you what I mean. It's like a more thicker spread, and I actually find this balm to be very, very occlusive. It's just, oh, it's so nice. And this is like the sort of thing I use when I need immediate relief um, from like dry, itchy skin. Um, and it doesn't, it's, it feels like thicker in consistency because it is balm. And it, when I apply it, it kind of just feels like a little film that, that I've applied and I can kind of feel it. But it's not greasy, it's not heavy, it doesn't, as you can see, it doesn't, you know, look any, like it doesn't make the skin look any, like, shiny or anything greasy. It just, it just immediately, the main difference between these two is that you can really feel the balm on your skin. But that is kind of the case for most balms. Um, if you are looking for, a pr like, if you're wondering which one to get, um, I think probably if you want to use a more of a moisturizer, I would go for this one. And if you want more of like a spot treatment, then I would definitely go for this one. I really like them. I've been pretty happy with my results. And because I mostly use this one for my face, this is gonna last for so long because it's pretty big size. It's pretty hard to find really good moisturizers for retinoid uh, with to use alongside with retinoid, so I'm glad I found this one. And it's it can be kind of expensive to find uh, products that kind of help with your uh, maintaining like the skin, like the moisture barrier, your skin barrier, without it, you know, getting really expensive. So this is, really an inexpensive, uh, these two are really um, inexpensive products to buy if that's what you're looking for as well. Like I said, just because it's targeted towards people with eczema doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use it. You totally can. Um, yeah, so I hope you found this review helpful and if you want to uh, watch more reviews, uh, consider uh, subscribing. <laughs> um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.